Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. My apologies for the slight delay that we have as uh, we were sort of fixing up a lot of the issues that we have. And we are here, of course, the usual takeaway that we have also through our Telegram ch uh, channel in here. And let's get on to the Trade VSA with our breakfast show in here. Now let's get on to what we have. And definitely some of the trades that we talked about last week on the 30th of September did work out well, especially on the intraday trade that you don't need to carry on even longer due to the uh, so-called market volatility that we see. So on this lesson, uh, definitely we will talk about uh, the items that we have in here. And this morning, we're going to be talking about the KLCI reversing. That's why I think many of you would have known that. As I said before, all you have to do is follow the green Pentagon and then some of you may have already know that and already started to turn. And my take is we are likely to hit the market bottom right now. No doubt this morning the market has pulled back in here. As I explained before on the morning podcast, check it out on the Telegram in here. What we want to see is the sign of weakness. But I do think the end of the stage four markdown is already uh, completed itself. Now, likelihood we will begin a new stages because the month of September right, has been very bearish. Usually in the month of October, it does recover. So we will begin a new stage uh, with the Pentagon guided. Definitely the green Pentagon has come out, but it doesn't always the case where we'll just mark up in here. So what is the definition in here of the end of the stage for uh, markdown in here? And how can you use uh, the green pentagon uh, to sort of get into the shares, especially to capitalize on this pullback of the market October? But I do know many of you are still not convinced that this market, it is what it is. And uh, likelihood, that's why uh, we are seeing many times market usually turn. But I think the overall key successes in here is to look into back testing it, testing it. And uh, no doubt you can see uh, all I have is all just words, but it's also important for the members in here to take note. If you can uh, do uh, a lot of the back testing in here, then many of you will see things that you normally don't usually see, which is the success rate. Even right now, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the examples that we talked about last week on the 30th of September. Do, do remember this recording is usually done around and should finish by 11, but some of those trades may come after 11 o'clock if we can't find any in case, because a lot of the smart money will be working. And that's why we have the VSA engine there uh, working and uh, really trying to to find hard for those shares for you in here. Now, if you're inexperienced to look for those shares, VSA 360 has done it, and we do have a special 1010 sales uh, 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 promotion that is coming out uh, this uh, 1010. So make sure you check it out in there and find out more. Now, of course, those of you who want to follow us on our VSA 360 in here can definitely do so on our green Pentagon in here. We will be taking up some new trades uh, uh, right now soon. So as this market now started to so-called uh, put into its horses right now. All right. So let's go on to uh, what we have and we love to hear your feedback in here. Let's take a look at VSA 360 on the intraday alert. All right, the intraday alert in here. So we want to be looking into that. So uh, let's see what we have. All right, and uh, let's go on to, and also the new features uh, on the VSA 360 is still in place. Many of you would have tried out the personal alert in here, and uh, definitely those would be uh, in places in here. All right, let's also take a look at the Pentagon Guider uh, in here that we have, and uh, let's uh, say this in here. So the market now is at 1411, 1411, 1413 in here. So uh, we also want to check out a few things in here that we usually do. And that would be the uh, watch list, your own watches. Gunting has gone up 1.3% in here. And also you can see revenue is still holding up at 0 0.93. Uh, Peratron, these are some of the stocks that I've been tracking in here. But the KLCI is right now at this junction in here, uh, turning down, as, as I said before, the market is down. Uh, uh, minus 0 0.7 in here. 
but the uh, tall tale sign that is really causing this now, I think some of you would have known this, and I've talked about this much, much earlier, is this, uh, uh, the foreign funds flow. You can see the foreign funds has been leaving here. There's uh, only one so-called uh, <laughs> a little uh, hope there on one of the day, which is the 4th of October, but since then has been really selling off in here, and that also causes our market to be down. So this morning, you could see up here, Hatta is down. Uh, pretty much everything is in red in here. We also look at the sector uh, um, on, on top of that in here. And uh, also healthcare, it's coming back. A lot of the rubber gloves started to make mo its move up in here. You can check it out on the healthcare. Click on that one. And you can see did healthcare start to move up. Yes, it started to turn green Pentagon. Wow, look at this. And so this is how you can pick up uh, some of the green pants. So a lot of the rubber gloves are, are turning. Only Hatta this morning, I, I suppose it's uh, pulling back uh, what we are seeing here. So that uh, seems to be great. Let's take a look at the other sectors. What are the sectors that we have this morning in here? And you can see, oh, started. Now remember the KLCI already turned green Pentagon. That's the first one uh, that we have seen here. Turn green Pentagon. So the remaining will also uh, start to change. So you can see a pattern plantation has turned green Pentagon too. You can see it just turned green Pentagon. Healthcare, industrial products. So these are your so-called early bird. Lah, huh? So eventual market turn. And this is also aligned with the budget 2023, which is happening this uh, late afternoon, I believe so. And also the uh, 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 the dissolvent of the parliament likelihood to be next week uh, when we have the announcement of the likelihood of the GE15. So that's why the momentum will carry. So this momentum is sort of pull back right in between the news and, and it's going to be pretty quiet like what we've seen right now here. So this is the uh, 360 that we've seen right now here. And uh, what else? Uh, also, let's look at the alert. Some of the alert I have, uh, JSB, which we did trade last week as turn rate Pentagon. So on the backdrop of what we have here. So that's why we don't want to trade for longer term. So some of those, I think members would have already known how you can pick those intraday trade. I'm going to share with you uh, uh, on the uh, some of the lessons we're going to be sharing in here. All right. And the month of, uh, let's blow this up a bit. I think this is something I also share every week is the seasonality chart here. All right, you can see September month was the worst performing month, uh, minus 7% in here. But since then, October has turned positive, right? 1.85% in here. And I think possibility we might hit maybe 2 or 3%. You can see here right back in March, right? 4% up move, okay? And again, we have G15. Who knows what will this do be? Remember, in G15, it was sometime in May. You did have a bit of rally in January, then a pullback. Uh, that was usually so usually the case the month just uh, one a month leading to it right you will see some sort of rally the question is whether it's going to be uh, next year or end of this year uh, for that take what do you what, what do you think members and also the public just put me uh, in the comment below what do you think where likelihood the GE is going to be going and also on uh, la, this Wednesday I did talk about the uh, restructuring of the portfolio so make sure you check it out that video they have done on the live facebook how you can do to remove some of your dead wood stock especially right now we see some sort of rubber glove moving uh maybe or, or top glove or hotta hotta supermax you might want to take a little bit of profit and prepare some cash out front to able to trade into this market that you see right now here and that's what uh what we are trying to uh look into right now so let's also take a look at the other things that we have here is the news. What are some of those news? Okay, we're just waiting for the market to... Uh, here you go. You got 80 uh, plus 70. Well, all these are still red Pentagon. Only one Maybout. Okay, let's. we can also take a look at Maybout here. So let's click on to Maybout. May Bao is, uh, yep, just starting to move up. All right, just starting, to, still pretty much in a downtrend, but starting to move up in here, nice one here. You could see right now is, uh, this morning is uh, pretty much flat. So that uh, let's look, also take a look at the news too. Uh, what was the news on uh, May Bao, which turned green Pentagon? Uh, oh, this is bubble tea. All right, uh, well, there's not much in here. 
All right, you want to see May Bao. So that's uh, the only semiconductors. Uh, M Sport, this one I don't think of. Uh, Petronas, P Chemical. So P Chemical is here. You can see turn green Pentagon pull back in here. We also see the nice run that we saw previously for a lot of oil and gas stock. Rated 6 out of 8. So that's a good stock. Something, I don't think this stock is sort of a short term trade. It's more on a longer term as the dividend. You can see here 6.3%. It's a good stock. So those of you who like the oil and gas for the midterm, this is definitely one of those stocks you want to be putting into your uh, your portfolio in here. Part of what I talk about the re uh, portfolio restructuring uh, process in here. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay. Let's go back to the Green Pentagon news. Here. Personal notification. I think we talked about, and also my personal watches. So that's the one watches do, do you have? But what we're going to go on is to look at those intraday stocks. But before that, let's take a look where the market is and clues that we're looking for. Now remember, these are the weekly market structure that I've tried to you know. Uh, uh, draft up in here last week we were going down down and we were talking about looking for sign of weakness okay sign of weakness if the market would have fall further but indeed the market did reverse up and likelihood to end the stage four mark down and then we we like to see the market bottom this is where we are right now okay i'm going to show you on the chart shortly but very important is to understand the background and this is something that we will be teaching a lot in our market stages in here. So if you can check out our October masterclass, which we'll be doing in here, and you can find out all the green Pentagon sign of strength, sign of weakness that will put you into a much bigger stage. And also not to forget our VSA 360 market stages, Peak Valley is the one that will help you to spot where the market bottoming is. And this is, has been a very easy uh, uh, method to find where the bottom is. And also, we want to consummate with the volume in here. So right now, we are looking for the Green Pentagon. And yet, you can see here, Green Pentagon, as I said before, early on, the market has been down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. Then we saw this sign of strength. The sign of strength is the S. Uh, SOS. We were looking for a sign of weakness should the market fall, but we did have the support at 1380. The market rebounded back and turned green Pentagon since then. But of course, uh, on the uh, future chart, we have an uptrust. The market turned back down. This is where we are right now at 1411 in here. Okay, and uh, the question is, will it break back to 1400? I don't think so because of the uh, budget 2023, the momentum is there, but I do think uh, in line of the last three bar up move, there is some profit taking. So this is a nice pullback for those of you who like to trade a pullback. The 20 day moving average seem to be the resistant. And that's also aligned with the Dow Jones, what we are seeing right now, where we do have the 20 day moving average, and that seems to be stopping the market from uh, falling up. Uh, so we are slightly to see the end of the stage four that we have here. And right now we have a sign of strength, which is the LC here likely to go to. Now, if you look at the VSA market stages in our uh, Pentagon uh, Guider, all right, on the uh, trading view in here, uh, this is a weekly chart. But I just want to draw your attention to the reversal of the market, right? You can see the reversal of the market happened at the pivot point here, about 8, 12, 10% and this time we have a down big down move 14% the last one we have the big one was 27% that was the COVID uh, back in the uh, February March 2020 and we have another one in here did bring back down because of the inflation or global global recession you're seeing but very important also on the market stages that you see here is that it started to turn gray Okay, gray means the market uh, is on the uncertainty in here. But once it starts to turn green, this is where the trend is. But of course, the 200 moving average of the five year trend here seems to be the showstopper that it couldn't break. And our market has been below this uh, five year trend for some time already. I don't think it's going to be breaking up unless we have some sort of a new uh, economic uh, restructuring or economic reform. The case is else I don't think this market has uh, can impede and go uh, beyond 1600 in here. So right now we do have very important this evening, the market need to close strong on the weekly chart. All right, if we close strong on the weekly chart around the 1414 14 level in here, now it's 14, uh, 1411, 1414 will be great. Even 1415 will be great. Then this market can 
turn around and probably have another three or four weeks off until you see another up trust. You see, all this up trust on the weekly chart, it's very important. That's why you need to have the trade VSA up trust uh, on the uh, plugin and take advantage of our 1010 sale to get hold of our VSA indicator and also our bonus cost in here. Now, let's take a look at where we are right now. Uh, how to find those intraday trades uh, chart just like our 20 day trading uh, challenge from our members they are able to do so and able to do uh, finding great returns 28 23 percent and 13 percent our top winners in here and i believe you too can do that i'm going to share with you some of the going example in here so finding those right trades with on the uh, stage two markup is important with good volume in here uh, focusing on the green pentagon in here and if the market do uh, cannot close or close lower with up trust then you should exit in here and our vsa 360 stock notification were able to alert you in here uh, to give you all the necessary so let's take a look at last week on our alert here for the stock selection in here so this is the stock so let me just show you where i got it from uh, you can see p chemical uh, this here okay so we can see here uh all right this is the page where our intraday you can go back to uh this week this week is the seventh so we just go back one week the third here and uh, you can scroll right this is the time log a lot we are, we are not focusing on those uh that is a uh, red pentagon we just focus on those green you can see here at 11 11 when it first started to green, green pentagon so this is the scope that we are looking up uh, APB to uh, Triple H Corp. So that's the one we are looking at. And you can see this is just a snapshot. So we are just focusing on those green Pentagon. There are a lot more in there. You can try some of the other up trust. But right now with the KLCI turning green Pentagon, merely focusing on the green Pentagon is good enough. And uh, for beginners, stick to the 47 cents. If you're trading below the 47 cents, it can be very, very volatile and be ready to exit from the dose. Let's take a look at the first one, uh, which the... Uh, uh, VSA 360 intraday uh, Pentagon guided daily chart spotted at 14 and a half cents at 11 a.m. and since then has start has moved up and gone up to uh, hitting high of 17 and a half cents for a price potential price gain of 20 percent. Uh, so with a five thousand dollar trade, you would have uh, gained uh, one thousand ringgit in gross profit. Not bad, yeah, for a couple of days of trading in here. Uh, so that is definitely one of the uh, reason why for those of you who want to do this, what we call daily fishing, uh, daily fishing method can do so. And also notice the market stages is above zero in here. So the market hit up very quickly. Uh, that was only in three or four days. Just on trading on the another one is uh, spotted on the 30th of September. Again, green pentagon. First sign of green pentagon. Pick it up at 11.44. Uh, let me just show you where, where I mean in here. Uh, you can see where is, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, prop here, 11.44. Okay, that's the one. Okay, that's the one. Uh, Tropicana, 44. All right, uh, and you can see market hit high of uh, 135, about just two or three days. Give you momentum uh, for a potential price gain of 12.5%. So with a $5,000 trade, 12.5% is 625 uh, ringgit in there potentially up there for just simply uh, trading on the simple Pentagon Guider intraday daily trading. So that's that's again in here. Another one uh, is the Har Harlan. Okay, Harlan, let's take a look at Harlan just to showcase to you that uh, all this trade uh, uh, comes out on the system itself. You can see here at 11.55 turn green pentagon. That's the one that, that uh, well, we just said that members should take a look at it or at least check it out and back test it. That's all you can do because right now it's very difficult to stay on for longer trend and uh, if those of you who've been following me every Friday on our breakfast show, you can see there are many, many trades in here. Just want to share you some of those examples. So you're able to take a couple of fishes every day when you go home uh, in here. And this example is uh, Harlan uh, at 179, spotted at 11.55. Notice just turned green pentagon in here, uh, green pentagon and also the market stages. And this is too really reconfirming that the market can go higher. Of course, uh, Harlan eventually broke to 192, right? Uh, with a 7.2% price gain for a 
363 ringgit from $5,000 trade. We want to aim for very, very small trade, 3 or 4%, but those of you who experience want to run it a bit more, no more than 8, 9%, 8, 9, 10%, that's about it. Yeah, so this is uh, another one, is uh, APB, all right, uh, spotted here uh, at 11.55, that's right, so around 11 o'clock, there will be a couple of more trades here at 119, and you can see market eventually hit 132 for a uh, 10%, all right. 10% in here, nice one here, uh, for 10% uh, for 546 ringgit at, uh, from 5k. So let me just go back to 119 here. So you can see APB yeah, at 119, you can see this is the price 119 here. So you need, need to, you know, uh, perhaps uh, take up the promotion that we have for 1010 sales if you have not done so, and then check out our VSA trades. And also we come up with the daily intraday report that will be sent up to you at 520. If you have not received it, let me know. So this is a report that will be sending up to you uh, on that day. Okay, and also the whole idea about Pentagon Guider stock uh, uh, trading portfolio is fairly, fairly simple. You, We really want you to uh, look into the market here and find good fishes, right? I find good fishes like I just shared with you before. Rather than just sitting there the whole day, you really want to do this, you know, have a multiple fishing rod that will scan and pick up in here. Every day got fishes. The question is, are you willing to change your way of working and based on some of the examples that I share with you, the kind of uh, benefit of return will outcome the cost and also the time in here, right? Uh, as such, myself and some of the members are already doing it in here. Some of again, look at the criteria above 47 cents, good volume, win rates, three or 4%, you will be winning a lot, maximum eight to 10% in here and stay on course, okay? So let's take a look at this morning, what are some of the examples that we have? So let's go to the intraday. All right, and uh, let's go back to here. All right, and uh, let's see what we have for our intraday here. Okay, we have Pauls, P-A-S-S. -S. This is the one cent, up 6% here. Uh, Muda, 175, okay? So those are a couple of good examples here. Let's take a look at Muda right now all right again next week when we come back we'll be looking at those uh, uh, particular stock again okay let's take a look at muda so muda is right with, with here right now this is a stock now take notice this stock here if the example in here it doesn't have any trading at all and then suddenly it pops in here we may not want this okay so this is again one of the reasons uh next we have so this is muda let's take a look at the next one uh, on the intraday is uh we have our uh, avanta okay all the glove stocks all started to move lah. okay avanta Okay, you see, just turned green pentagon already this morning. All right, we will take a look next week. Okay, and uh, mood, we have Muda, we have Paus, P-A, Paus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, Paus, P-A-O-S. Okay, looking at those, yep, just turned green and pentagon. And uh, you can see from here, if it does go from here, if I can just get it correctly. Wow, look at the potential. 13%, all right? But if a beginner, just aim for 3 or 4%. That's pretty good. So that's picking up when it first turned green pentagon, okay? Turn green pentagon in here. Uh, don't believe me? So next week, we'll check out some of these stocks in here. Then you can easily verify them again in here for those intraday stocks, all right? So bottom line is, just like our members who have went through our 20-day challenge, you too can become this, right? Able to trade when the market is down, just trading a very short term intraday movement to give you a lot of opportunity in here. And not only that, many of our members continue to uh, perform and find those great shares, just like our other winners in our Trade VSA 28. And uh, don't forget, for our 1010 sale for a 50% discount, this is the amount. And just like I said before, for the price gain that we have seen earlier on uh, with the $5,000 trade, uh, this is definitely a good uh, uh, 
venue or a good vehicle for you to take a look at it. And it comes with a bonus cost for the post-budget 2020, maximizing profit in intraday that perform well in inflationary sector in Canada. Very similar to this, we're going to be looking many of these stocks in here, but getting those tools is the first thing. Do it now and do it uh, on the 1010 or you can do it right now here too. If not, you can go for our 10 free day trial here and get the free coaching worth 266 uh, and uh, activate your 10 day free trial. Better still, get on to the 1010 sale and for regular pricing, it's pretty six months is 1600. So this is a great deal that we are having here only on the 1010 sales. And also thank you for those, for our members who've been uh, giving us great review in here, more than 410 here, 4.8. Thank you again. And uh, of course, in the line with our live educational series that we are doing for the month of October in here. We've done one on Friday, oh, sorry, on Wednesday for the portfolio. So continue on, on this coming Wednesday will be budget 2023. So make sure you join me in here. And with VSA 360, we all can win-win even in this bearish market and market volatility. If you, have, if you haven't been winning, maybe it's time for you to switch on to us in here. All right. Uh, also love to hear your feedback and uh, give us a feedback also on our Google and you stand a chance to win our uh, review in here worth 1000 Now, if you have any stocks that you want me to take a look in here, f feel free to pencil those in here. Just like I said, we've been winning for a fair bit and I do hope that you are also winning some of your trades that you have. And don't forget to check out our uh, monthly uh, YouTube, if not smash that return in here and also uh, go to our Telegram chat room for all our stock educational in here. If you have any stocks you want me to take a look in there, just pencil those in there. If not, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend in here. I will definitely do and I'll see you on Monday on our breakfast show in here. Get on to those intraday trade. They are waiting for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.